Hey, what's up YouTube? I've had quite a few people ask me how much I spent doing all of the engine bay. So here's exactly the breakdown of everything that I did and how much everything costs. So on the left or on your right over there, they are all the parts that I've changed on the engine. So I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. <clears throat> so all the parts there were all the different things that I changed on the car. There were some suspension parts in there, but most of it was the actual engine. So a crankshaft seals, track bars, control arm bushing, drain plugs, core springs, oil pump, oil pan, time chain kit, transmission tra um, diff gaskets, uh, you name it, I did it. Power steam, cooler, power steam, mount, belt tensioners, manifold gaskets. So as you can see, I've got a brand new uh, battery on there as well, spray paint for the engine, conduit for all the cables and the wiring on the engine as well, a brand new coolant reservoir bottle and a windshield bottle as well. So tons and tons of stuff, yeah. So they're all the parts. Uh, there was, there's three main costs which I had. The first one was the actual paint for the engine bay. So I, I had to pay uh, a company to actually paint the engine bay after the engine was taken out. I then had all of the other costs, which was the garage labor. So my local mechanics charged me to take the engine out, take it all apart, replace everything, and then put everything back. <clears throat> and then the actual parts as well, uh, which I paid. I had to buy a lot of stuff from places like Rock Auto, places in America. Uh, there were some places that uh, I could use, like eBay. For instance, there were some bits and pieces on there I could buy. So this is the real cost of uh, what I paid for my engine bay transformation. Now, I will be honest, I didn't until about two hours ago work out the total cost with all the parts, the labour and everything else. It actually came in more than what I thought myself. Um, There's a lot of money. <coughs> so, uh, uh, more than what I really wanted to spend, but you know, it's done now, it's one of them things. So, can you take a guess before I reveal how much everything cost me, how much do you think? So have a little think to yourself. So the first one, the painting of the engine bay, yeah? Not a massive area, uh, but there was obviously labor involved. I didn't actually get a bad price for this. This was actually pretty good. So the cost of that was 300 pounds. That's what I paid. The garage did do a lot of the prep work for the engine bay. So that probably saved me a little bit of money on the paint work, but then it cost me more money on the labor. So I didn't really, win anywhere so 300 pounds that's the that's the painting of the engine bay so once the engine came out it went into a shop for about two days next is the garage labor this cost me more than what i thought they quoted me a certain amount a certain amount but it came in a little bit higher which I wasn't very happy about, but hey, it's one of those things you know, that can't be helped sometimes. The garage labor is a lot more than what I wanted to pay, I'll be honest. £2,800. Oh, God. It's a lot of money. £2,800. Uh, yeah, so we're now at, what, 3,100 and we haven't even got to the parts. So, uh, yeah, parts. How much do you think I spent on parts? It was actually, again, more than what I thought because there were things that I had to change which I couldn't really foresee. It wasn't until the engine came out that there were certain things that got revealed. So I then had to go and buy some stuff from ebay.com and obviously with all the postage and all the import duties, it just cost me a bit more money. So, parts, uh, 1,310. So 1,310. So the total, 4,410 pounds. 
So, you know, it's more than what I wanted to pay, but it's done now. Yeah, the engine bay's done. It's just one of those things that had to be done. So, there you go. Let's zoom in on that. So it's looking very nice. Very nice. So yeah, total of everything, 4,400. So there you go. So now you know how much I paid to do the engine bay. I don't regret it because it's come out really good. You know, I'm really happy with it. Cost me a little bit more money than what I expected. But there you go, it's one of those things. So the next stage is uh, we're gonna be working on the rear hatch. Uh, we're gonna be doing some of the interior, the electronics inside. So lots more stuff yet to do. So if you want to follow along and see how I do the rest of the car, then uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, to Funky Projects, and you'll get lots more videos coming up very soon. So uh, yeah, please like the video if you did like it, and uh, watch out for some more videos uh, coming your way very soon. Lots more stuff in the garage. I've got the UFO over there. I've got my quad in the corner there. Yeah, lots more things left to do. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.